Hey guys, what's up? So today was my one month on testosterone and I was going to do the bi-weekly shot thing but I kind of made a mistake and because it was really difficult to get half of it when it's already such a low dose. So I'm just going to keep going with the monthly stuff. So um, I did it in the opposite leg and I marked this one with the two as number two. And um, since my hormonal levels have been down for the past couple weeks, I guess, maybe, I don't know, from the last shot. Um, there hasn't been really much in changes, I mean, not that I can tell. Um, increased libido, and that kind of went away a week and a half ago after school started. <sighs> mm -mm. And, um, besides that, I don't think there's really anything else. I mean, I can't really tell because the... Cause, about my voice because um, I've been making it higher and using uh, a pitch that people would assume to belong to the stereotypical gay guy. And don't tell me that you don't know people who do this. I mean, I used to have this theory that um, the pe the gay people, like the gay guys and stuff, would like purposely alter their voice so they could find other gay guys and get themselves out there as gay. But that's not always the case. Some guys just have a really high voice, and it's really rare in my school. So, um, I don't know. I just, I just talk like this. I mean, I think, I honestly think that some gay guys do that. Because, um, even my, um, one of my teachers, he does that, and then he used his regular voice, and it was like a totally different person. Like, whoa there. So, yeah, that's my theory. I mean, not all of them do it, of course, but I think the ones that do, um, I don't know. But, um, so I've been making my voice kind of like this, so people would, um, if they questioned whether I was male or female, I'm hoping that they'd lead it towards, towards a gay guy, even though I'm pretty feminine looking. So I don't know, I might be doing myself worse. I probably am! Um, yeah, so I gotta get myself conditioned back to speaking in a normal tone so I can actually mark the changes and stuff and so other people can actually see the changes. But a lot of people, um, that I'm around, they realize after a certain amount of time that I do different voices and I guess if they realize that, then they gotta realize that one of them must be fake and one of them must be real. And quite honestly, I don't think anybody really can pick out my regular talking voice from, say, a crowd. I mean, they might be able to, but, um, I think this is pretty much it. I mean, I really don't know what my, I honestly, I've stated before, I do not know what my voice, my regular tone of talking is. People all got these accents and stuff, people from other countries, different parts of the world, but... I mean, I don't know what my accent is because I can do loads and I, I mean, I haven't really talked in a regular tone of voice since before sixth grade because ever since then I've been doing these accents and stuffs, so, um, for entertainment purposes, um, I honestly don't know what started them, but can't really tell what I used to talk like and then people change so I'm just gonna just gonna go with this okay so I guess that's it for this video all right bye